Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about WAM 2.2 Animan with an extended workflow that gives you some really cool multiple background options and more control over how your video is generated. Let's jump right in. This workflow gives you multiple background options to choose from, from the input image, from the control video, using a custom background image or a background video. It also lets you control face expressions and lip sync. You can take those directly from the control video or even pass them from a separate video altogether. There's full control over audio selection too. If an extra face video is used and has audio, that takes priority. Next in line is audio from the background video if it exists. If not, it defaults to the control video's audio. You can also pass an audio file as input, which takes highest preference. To use this workflow, you'll need to download a few models. Don't worry, all the links are provided inside the workflow and also in the description below. Here's what you'll need. Pose and face detection models, vid pose, available in two flavors, large and huge. Large works great, but if you've got higher VRAM, go for the huge model for even better pose detection and a YOLO object detection model. SAM model for segmentation. It helps create the body mask if you're not using the background from the input image. The SAM model downloader will grab this automatically, so you don't have to do it manually. WAN 2.2 animate model. You can use either the Safe Tensors format or GGUF recommended for low VRAM setups. You will also need these two LORAs, WAN animate relight LORA and LightTex 2v4 step LORA. For VAE, we'll use WAN 2.1 VAE, and for Clip Vision, we will use the Clip Vision H Safe Tensors file. All the download links are listed in the workflow and in the description below. While you're down there, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And please drop a comment if you enjoyed the video or have any questions. I try to reply as soon as possible. Now, let's quickly go through the main sections of this workflow. Load Models Group, where you load all the required models. Primary inputs. Here you load your input image and control video. Pose detection. This part detects the body and face pose and shows previews for both. Sampling group, where the actual video generation happens. Controls group. This is where all your customization options live. Here's what you can tweak inside controls. Face video. Enable this to pass a separate video for expressions or lip sync. Use background decides where the background comes from. If turned off, it uses the input image's background. If use background is on and external background is off, it takes the background from the control video. Turn on external background if you want to use your own video or image background. If using background video, make sure it is at least as long as your control video. You could also set your video's resolution here. I'm using 480 width and 832 as height for low VRAM setup. Feel free to try higher resolutions if you have more VRAM. Face video group. If the face video option is enabled, this is where you load that extra input video. It provides facial expressions and lip sync data. You can even replace this section with output from another lip sync workflow like WAN S2V or Infinite Talk. Background group. Depending on what you selected earlier, you can load a background image or video here. If use background is enabled, this section also runs SAM segmentation to generate a mask and overlay your generated animation onto the chosen background. Audio handling. The workflow uses an any switch node to prioritize audio sources automatically. External loaded audio, if any, face video audio, background video audio, control video audio as fallback. You can rearrange this order if you like, or even load a custom audio file for full control. Let's start simple. Disable all extra options so only motion data from the control video animates our input image. We're using this image as input and this 12 second control video with background music. Let's run it. It has now extracted the pose animation and face data from the control video and it's moving on to the sampling process. Okay, results are in and they look awesome. The pose transfer is perfect and the input image animates beautifully. I'm using a Q4 quantized GGUF model here so results on FP8 or full model will look even better. For our second test, let's enable use background but keep external background off so it uses the control video's background. Let's run it. 
In this run, it also generated the background video with a mask, taking the background from the control video and isolating the dancer, who will be replaced by the girl in our input image. Perfect again. This time, it replaced the dancer with our input image character, keeping everything else from the control video. Let's try a static background image. We will be using this image as a background. As we can see, this time the mask is generated using our provided input image, allowing it to blend seamlessly with the background. And perfect again. The background has been replaced by our image cleanly. For our fourth test, let's try with a background video that has audio. We will be using this background video. As we can see, this time the mask is generated using our provided video as the background, perfectly integrating the masked animation with it. And again, spot on. It replaced the background with our chosen video and even used its audio automatically. Finally, let's enable face video. We'll use this input video with audio for expressions in lip sync. Left home at seven, no time to eat. Zoom call on slippers on my feet. And this control video. Now, you might be wondering why we're not using the same control video as before. That's because the earlier one had a lot of head movement, even full turns, while my face video was quite still. Mixing those two can cause some undesired or weird effects like this. So. It's always advisable to keep the movements somewhat similar when using an external lip sync or face expression video. All right, let's run it. This time, the face data has been picked up from the face video we provided, capturing the expressions and lip sync perfectly. The animation perfectly captured the expressions and lip sync from the face video along with the background audio track. Left home at seven, no time to eat. Zoom call on slippers on my feet. And that's it for today's video. All the download links are in the description below. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with another awesome workflow. Bye for now.